Hello everyone, and welcome to Propway. So as you can see, I made these automatic falcon wings, and I really made it a goal of mine to make it automated just so I can hit a switch and it'll start to fold and unfold. So this video will be a run through of how I did each step and how I made these wings. And just to kind of quickly explain how this works, the main frame of these wings is a linkage system. And as I hit a switch, there are two linear actuators that push up and down on this linkage system. Basically, I connected this fabric to the linkage system. Also, on my Captain America shield, I added a plastic hook on the back to allow me to throw it onto my back with ease and it hooks on just like that. I know there are a few different ways to do that. My friend Sean from Sean's Crafts built an amazing Captain America shield with magnets that allow you to snap it onto your back very quickly. So that is one option of how to do it. I figured it would just be easier to glue on a plastic hook and just to throw it on. It's easy to pull off just like that. And the switch that I use is just a normal forward and reverse switch. To extend it, you just hit forward. And as you can see, the wings don't extend super fast. The linear actuators that I use do have a speed limit on it. But if I did want it to extend faster, I could spend some more money on faster linear actuators. Or I could use some air cylinders and let that shoot out almost instantly. I figured this is the easiest and the cheapest way to do it, and it works just fine. But without further ado, let's get on with the build. To make the main structure of the wings, I used these wooden strips that you can find at any hardware store. Here I'm just measuring out the different lengths that I will need. And in the description, you will find a template that shows you all of the different lengths that you'll need. Here, I'm just cutting out strips using a jigsaw. And here are all of my cut strips. And now I'm marking out the different spots that I will have to drill holes in. And the template will also show you the holes that you have to drill Now I am using these shoulder screws as the pivot points for the wooden strips. Here you can see you just put the shoulder screw through the drilled holes and then you just put a nut on the back side. And now I am just assembling this whole linkage system and again the template in the description will show you how to put this together. Now I want to give credit to this YouTuber, I think it's pronounced Thang, 010146, who does incredible mechanisms on his channel, and this linkage system was one of them. So shout out to him, go check out his channel. Now for the jetpack structure, I wanted it to fit within the Captain America shield, so here I'm just measuring it out, and I'm drawing it out on foam board. Here I'm just cutting out that piece. And this is a general shape of how big the jetpack should be on your back. And now we're going to need two of these pieces, so I trace it out on a second sheet. Now in the meantime, I am painting the linkage system silver. Because one half of it will be exposed, I wanted it to be a nice color and not just exposed wood. Now since we are going to be adding some bolts through the foam board, I wanted to reinforce it with these plastic pieces that I 3D printed. So here I'm just cutting out a hole in the foam board for that plastic piece. And I'll put a link in the description for the file to print this piece. And all this does is just allows the bolts to put some stress on the plastic instead of on the foam board. Now this is another 3D printed piece that I made. This will be the motor mount for the linear actuators. So now I'm just cutting out an oval shape to install this mount. Once that's in place, I just poke some holes in the foam board to bolt through.
and once you have that in place, you can secure it with a lock nut. And here is what the linear actuator should look like when it's installed. You want to make sure it has a nice pivot while still being secured in place. Now here I'm just inserting some long bolts through with some more 3D printed spacers. Once you have that in place, you want to install one linkage system and bolt in the linear actuator. So right now I just have one motor set up. So I'm gonna try testing it out and see if it works. Right now it's, it's this side that's motorized. So right now I just have it connected to a, I can't see, a nine volt battery here with some wires connected to it. So let's try it out. So it does work. So now that the two linkages are in place, we are going to install the top foam board. And here I poke some holes into the middle of it so I can run the wires through. And once that's run through, I just secure it down with some nuts and bolts. Now to make the actual wing, I started off with this gray fabric. And here I'm just sizing it out and drawing the wing pattern. I also used some blue and red fabric and to glue that on, I used this fabric glue. Here you can see I'm just brushing it onto the edges of the blue fabric. And now I carefully place that onto the gray piece. So to control the actual wings, I used this double pole, double throw switch, which I just did some test wiring to make sure it works well. What's nice about these switches is that it has a forward and reverse, which will work perfect for what I want it to do. And now I'm just installing the wing onto the linkage. And here's a quick test of it opening and closing. So installing the wing onto the linkage, I just undo some of these shoulder screws and I thread that screw into a hole in the fabric that I made and I just reinstall that screw. So now the wing should move with the linkage. And this is what it should look like before you put the top cover on. Now here I'm just doing some of the final electrical wiring. I will be posting a wiring diagram on how I put everything together. Now to install the light onto the back of the jetpack, I just bought this cheap light bar. Here I'm just building a little housing around it using foam board. And I just added some blue acrylic paint for the design. And now, now to install the straps, I had my sister help me here to make sure that everything was sized correctly. Shout out to my sister. Here and up! Up! And this is what the final product should look like. So that is how I made these Captain America wings. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad these wings turned out halfway decent and I'm glad I could share it with you guys. As always, if you guys have any other requests for other props, 
feel free to leave it in the comments below. I do have several other projects lined up, so if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't have notifications set up, hit that bell button below and make sure you get notified when I post my next video. Thank you guys for all the support and I will see you next time.